what if um, husband is not a companion for the wife what are the like what should the lady do there what are the rules and the hadith behind it طيب but would you please shed some light on the meaning of what if the husband is not a companion to the wife you mean that he is not functioning as a loving husband he is not supporting the family he doesn't spend time with the wife he doesn't listen to her tell me you know what is your frustration yeah um you know talking with the wife doesn't spend time with the wife okay so this is would ignore the typical common complaint yeah. thank you salwa yes before i answer the question obviously i was involved in counseling countless cases like that then the typical scenario is as follows when the husband gets the right to speak he says sheikh i'm supposed to look after a big family i'm supposed to provide for a huge family i barely have time to eat and sleep so if i don't work and if i don't put that many hours at work i lose my job i lose my position i will be jobless and the wife will be upset because i cannot buy her the stuff that she wanted so it is like a vicious cycle she wants the husband to sit at home and talk to her and take her places and enjoy watching movies together and so on would you please consider what if he is fired what if he loses his job uh, on the other hand we'll have to find out maybe the husband is really having some shortcoming in this area because every average person works during the weekdays then they have what is known as a weekend vacation so if you have spare time priority is to spend with the family uh, wife and children consider it a part of your job create time so that you can pray together eat together especially dining together when you return from work check on the kids the education their grades applaud some as others to improve uh, compliment the wife oh, i love your hairstyle it looks beautiful this time what are you wearing mashallah where did you buy it from i like it even if you don't you know every woman on earth likes to be admired especially from the husband so uh, training you know marriage maintenance is required you know what the almighty allah says in this regard fabathu hakama min ahlihi wa hakama min ahliha instead of you know thinking about you know i don't think it is doable it's not going to work i'm bored of him i'm bored of her she's very demanding he's always out he's not working he's not at home at all everyone needs to know their conditions before i judge them so when we sit in a counseling session and we know then the husband can make time even once a week you should do that this is an act of worship this is a ibadah and you should enjoy it not only do it as it's compulsory look what the messenger of allah peace be upon him said and i want to find out am i busier than prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam absolutely not would any of us there to say that he's too busy more than uh, how prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was busy not a chance right yet he will create time to play with aisha to race with her to have fun with hafsa and to take uh, uh, safiya out and at home he disconnects you know subhanallah even though the smartphones and the tabs and all of that the new technology has made our life easy but unfortunately it severed the ties between the family members of the same family if you can make sure that when you sit on the dining table everyone leave your phones in your rooms do not answer even if it is an emergency call it makes a huge difference when we eat together when we talk together when we pray to rakaz at night together uh, it makes a huge difference so basically i have to create time i have to spare some time in order to attend to my wife to her needs and to my children 
On the other hand, the wife should be understanding if, if the man is in a position where it is extremely difficult for him, okay, wait until it is a good time to talk to him about that. Do not put pressure on him because meanwhile he would say, look, you're very demanding, you're very boring. I don't think we can continue like that. And this is where the shaitan will dance out of joy and delight. So what I've said is simply general advice or general advices to both. But each couple, their case have to be studied, have to be looked at, and then the advices will be paid specifically in proportion with the condition of each couple. Dua, prayer. You need a lot of dua. Rabbana havalana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina qurrata a'yun waja'alna lilmuttaqeena imama. Make this dua a lot. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reconcile between you and your spouse, whether he or she, both, they make dua. Ask Allah to make your spouse and your children comfort for your eyes and coolness for your heart and your eyes. And then perceive this as an act of worship because it is actually an act of worship. Ruqya on regular basis. Because sometimes you're, you're leading a very happy life but you don't realize. Your own sister or sister-in-law or your neighbor envies you. Lucky you, you have the best man on earth handsome, famous doctor, very generous, very loving, very caring. He speaks quietly, he's always smiling. So the evil eye may affect you. And you don't see all of that. You only see one thing. He ain't talking to me anymore. He doesn't spend much time with me and we sit on the swing and we, uh, we eat seeds and we drink this and we enjoy. Maybe the condition is different. So recite Surah Al-Baqarah at home every morning, several days. It will eliminate the evil eye, the envy, and the hasad. Because life is tough nowadays. It's easy to break, but it's not easy to reconcile and fix.